let's go get into it. What okay. is the inter, inner guy internal guidance system? Yeah. So what I'll do is let's go ahead and do a quick exercise. For those of you who can close your eyes, please do. And if you if you can't, don't worry, it'll still work for you or you can come back and do the exercise later. But what I'd like you to do is just close your eyes and sit down wherever you're at. Feel the bottom of your feet. I'm not going to close my eyes because I'd like to be able to just make sure, you know, but close your eyes, feel the bottom of your feet. You'll notice there's a warm tingling sensation that might start happening as soon as you start paying attention to your feet. And then pay attention to the palm of your hands. Once again, you'll get a little warm tingling that can happen. And I'm going to give you two statements as you stay focused on your hands and feet. And just let them kind of float through your mind like a cloud does through a sky. Don't analyze them. Just kind of like watch them float by. And notice if there's any sensation between your throat and your solar plex. And here's the first statement. Focusing on hands and feet. I do not have an internal guidance system. Notice any sensation. I do not have an internal guidance system. Now focus on hands and feet again. And here's the second statement. I do have an internal guidance system. Noticing any sensation, I do have an internal guidance system. Wiggle your toes, open your eyes. What was it like for you? The first statement, I had a um, lump in my throat. Yeah. And um, definitely felt some tightness. Yeah. And then the second statement? It was all relaxed. It, uh, it left, huh? It evaporated. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the first was that tight, it shows up like a lump in the throat, a tightness in the chest or a sick feeling in the solar plexus. I call that a closing. Just It's just a pattern interrupt to notice what's happening in your body, the, the word itself. And then the second I call an opening and that's a release. People say that there's like a, a rush or they feel like they can breathe more or there's like a little V expansion feeling that they have. And we call that an opening. And this is happening throughout all of our day all day long, we're getting these con contractions and expansions based on what we're thinking. And if we're thinking something that is not true for us or out of alignment or old programming, which I want to talk about because that's even more important. If we're thinking something like that, we'll get a tightness. It's, an, it's a little alarm like, hey, th this thought is carrying you where you do not want to go. And if we feel the release or a neutral or an expanded feeling, those are thoughts that are intended to follow, to focus on and to continue with. You're going in the direction of your, your blueprint, your purpose, what's going to work for you. And it, and it gives us information about everything from like, I'll be driving down the street and I'll have directions and it'll say, go right. And I'll feel this tightness. And I'm like, nope, it's left. And I go left and I get there. And it's mm -hmm. it, little things like that all the way through to arguments with my husband where he's telling me, he's like, I hate it when you manipulate me. And I think I'm not manipulating him. And I close, which means what I'm thinking is not true. And out of alignment, I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? He's like, you're so influential and you just try to get me all excited about your ideas. And I can, you don't let me think for yourself. And it's like a manipulation and I got it. But everywhere in our lives, this is operating and happening all the time.